Hello everyone, this is Mark. Uh, today is July 19th, 2019. Uh, you see my camper in the, the picture here. I just took it out of mothballs and it had been pretty much in storage for the whole winter. And uh, we're getting ready to go on a little trip. So I thought I'd uh, just give you a, a grand tour of the camper when the sun is down so that you can see, uh, see that uh, I've got a hotel on wheels here. That is a 2019 adventure on top of that uh, three-quarter ton truck. Uh, it's about 1,800 pounds, so it's very light. That three-quarter ton truck will handle it uh, very well. And uh, the only thing I had to do was put these stabilizers on the leaf springs in the back of the truck so that the camper wouldn't sway or they call it porpoising. Uh, the camper would stay stable as we we're going down the road. As you can see, I've got it. I've got the power hooked into the garage right now. Uh, I'll just show you the what's what's on the outside of the camper here, the exterior of the camper, and then I'll show you the inside. Okay, let's walk over here. I've got to wash this thing and get it ready for the trip. Okay, on this side. Uh, right above the cab, there's the, the sleeper. There's a queen-size bed in there, and uh, it's very comfortable. You sleep literally over the over the cab of the truck. And then going back, this here is the water heater. It's got a water heater, so you can take a hot shower. This is potable water, which is uh, water for your sink and for your your shower and for your toilet. This is a city drinking water connection here, and you hook up your city water and you're, you've got plenty of water. This is a 30 amp outlet. This is the electric, the power for the camper. I've got it right now on a, uh, 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 a converter that converts it from 30 amp to 110, and then I got it plugged into regular 110 outlet. And so if you go somewhere, you can either hook it into 30 amp 50 amp or 110 uh, very nice right next to that this is the battery compartment it holds two batteries in line and then right next to the battery compartment is guess what outdoor shower yeah underneath that I put a tube this tube didn't come with a camper that's this tube right here that holds the uh, sewer hose so you can connect the bathroom to uh, to a sewer line if the RV park or the campground has uh, has sewer hookups. Also, let me back up a little bit here. You can see the, the this thing has four electric jacks, and that's what this is here. That's an electric jack with an electric motor. And then up front here, you've got another electric jack with an electric motor. And what that does is allow you to quickly raise the camper off the truck. So if you want to go into a campground, take your camper off your truck, and then use your truck to drive around and visit the local sites, uh, that's very quick and easy to do with this unit. Also, you'll see it has some tie-downs here. These are quick-release tie-downs. There's one there. There's one there and then two on the other side. And these allow the unit to be quickly unsecured from the chassis of the truck. Uh, let's see, anything else on this side? That vent above the battery compartment, let me see right there, that's uh, a vent for the stove inside. That's about all on this, this side of the truck. And we'll go in the back here. Let's see, in the back, we've got right there is a backup camera. And so that allows you to see when you're backing up. Uh, this is a portable unit that allows you to drain your black tank or your, your toilet. And then it's got a stair that goes up to the top so you can get up, up on top and take a look around and inspect the equipment that's up on top of the camper. Also, way up there is a uh, 
this right here is a canopy that rolls out about eight feet and allows you to shade this this uh, back door so you don't get wet coming in and out of the camper. It's got uh, aluminum stairs that fold up nice and handy and they're very stable and then it's got this grab bar that you grab onto as you're getting into the into the camper. This thing I'm going to kind of show you this is rated for cold weather. Uh, I think the camper was made in Tacoma, Washington so it's rated for Canada weather. Uh, it's very well insulated and so uh, you can basically go pretty much anywhere with this camper. It's got a furnace for propane heat and I also have an electric heater in case we happen to be plugged into shore power somewhere so you can heat the heat the camper at night or during the day that way as well. Okay on the other side here of course you see the the electric jacks and then the, the tie downs that hold the unit. There's uh, not much on this side there's the propane cubby this holds the propane uh, here and this is an outlet for the for the propane for the refrigerator this is also an outlet for the refrigerator as well because the refrigerator runs on both propane and electric okay what else is over here up on top you can see the stereo antenna that's why you got to have 11 and a half feet clearance because this thing goes way up there there's the air conditioner uh, condenser on the outside also right let's see if I can get it there right there that right there those are solar panels so it does have solar and that solar is used to keep the batteries charged uh, when, when you're traveling during the day works very nicely okay also up here right there and right there are exterior speakers so if you want to play your music outside while you're picnicking outside you can use those exterior speakers the windows all the windows in this camper are sliding windows they work very nicely very well insulated that's an emergency that's an emergency exit window as well you can if, if there's a fire or you need to get out at night time quickly you can uh, release that and, and get out of the camper that way so you're not trapped Okay, so that's the exterior of the camper. Let's go inside before it gets too dark. This is a uh, right here. You just open that up. It's got a screen door, so you can just close the screen door like so. And that screen door attaches to the door when you go inside, so you can release it like that. Boom! Snatches, and then it's secured to the door. Okay, as we walk in here, I'm going to see if I can turn on some lights. Let me turn on these lights. Get some better lighting in here. It's getting dark. There we go. All right. As you walk into the camper, there's a bathroom to the left. It's got a wet shower. And a six foot five person can stand up fully in that shower and uh, it's got a real nice toilet storage and it's got a teak wood floor so you don't slip and you can take a hot shower while you're uh, while you're camping okay over to the right as you're walking that so the bathrooms to the left over to the right we've got cabinetry here there's the interior speakers storage above all kinds of storage and then you got your stereo unit right there is an outlet 110 outlet and right there is the thermostat for the furnace and the air conditioning this is a couch for the dining it's got cup holders and it folds out so if you want the grandkids to come along they can sleep right there that uh, that will accommodate two grandkids easily okay then to the left, as you walk past the shower, there's the kitchen. It's got a, a deep, round aluminum sink. 
uh, hot water, and all the appliances, you know, toaster, coffee, rice cooker, Maria's got an electric cooker. It's also got uh, propane, and above that you've got a fan and a light, and below that you've got uh, storage for pans, pots and pans, and then right there you've got storage for your utensils and your other kitchen items that you need. It's pretty compact, but it works. And you've got storage way up above here to put your canned goods and that. And then there's a towel rack, and then this is a control center for water, uh, heat, uh, the water pump, the water heater, the lights, etc. And then you got another cabinet up above the sink with the microwave in it. And that microwave, you can use that when you're on, on shore power. Okay, the bedroom, it's getting a little dark, is a full queen size. There's windows on both sides that open. There's a fan above the bed and there's lighting those are led lights all the lights in this camper are leds and then you got nightstands to the left and to the right and you got all kinds of storage with a hamper or not a hamper but a clothes closet right there that you can hang all your clothes in and then this curtain right here slides across and you got you got your privacy in your bedroom right to the right of that is the refrigerator it's, uh, let me open it up here. There's a refrigerator. It's got a freezer. It's very adequate. It's five cubic feet. Holds quite a bit, really. All kinds of water and food and everything. So we're getting ready to, to go camping. So we'll fill that up. And that thing, that refrigerator runs off of either propane or electric if you're connected to shore power. Okay, and then that's the furnace right there. That's for heat. We've got a propane furnace. And then we put a stool in there so that we could step up to the, uh, to the little shelf there, and then up into the bed. The control center for the solar panels is right there. And uh, that tells you how that solar panel is working in charging the, the batteries. Okay, let's see. Anything else that I, I've got that I've missed? I guess that's about all, folks. The camper is really a, a hotel on wheels. It's uh, and you can park a truck camper anywhere, so it's it's very convenient and uh, works very nicely when you're traveling. It's very comfortable. Okay, that'll do it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and. Of course, don't forget to push on that notification bell.